All right, so today we're gonna to be doing a test between the base Microsoft Surface Laptop 7 and the base MacBook Air 3. Both of these cost $1,000, so I think this is a really good comparison to do. First, let's take a look at the size. Taking a look at the width, you can see that the MacBook Air is just a little bit wider. Putting the two of them side by side, you can see that the Surface Laptop has a little bit more depth front to back. Taking a look at them as though they were laying flat, you can see they're both pretty similar. Looking at them front on, you can see that the MacBook Air is the slightest bit thinner. You can see here that the body of the Surface in the front actually makes it a little bit thicker. You can see that the MacBook Air has this little place here for your finger, just to help you open up the laptop which is actually really helpful. The Surface Laptop doesn't have that, so you're kind of having to push your thumb or finger into that little crevice of the display on the body to get it open. Here's a look at them from the back. The MacBook Air is the same thickness the whole way through, and the Surface is a wedge shape, so it gets a little thicker near the back. Let's look at the left side of these laptops. On the top, the MacBook Air has a MagSafe charging port, which connects magnetically. And just beside that has two USB-C ports. The Surface Laptop on the bottom has a headphone jack, USB-A port, and two USB-C ports. Taking a look at the right side, this is where the MacBook Air has its headphone jack. And on the Surface, this is where it has its magnetic charging port. Also, looking at these from the side, you can now see that uniform thickness all the way through for the MacBook and the wedge shape of the Surface Laptop. Now let's take a look at the bottom. On the Surface Laptop, the feet are rubbery and would prevent the laptop from slipping around. On the Mac, the feet are still rubbery, but are a bit more slippery. Now here's a look at the laptop side by side. You can see that the Surface Laptop has a slightly smaller trackpad than the MacBook Air. Both of these laptops are using a haptic feedback, so the trackpad's not actually moving, it's just vibrating really quickly. Here's an example of what the trackpads sound like. Obviously, both of these laptops have keyboards, and they're both really good. I'd say that the MacBook Air has just a tighter feeling versus the Surface Laptop, which is just kind of a more soft, spongy feel. They both have a row of function keys across the top, with the Surface Laptop function keys just being slightly smaller. Here's a more direct look at the keyboard side by side. You can see that they both have a similar size keyboard well, but the actual keyboard on the Mac is slightly larger which makes sense given that the function keys are bigger. They're both comfortable to type on, with some people saying that the Surface Laptop has a slight advantage given that it's a wedge shape near the front. All right, let's turn the lights out so we can take a look at the keyboard backlight. And here's a look at the backlight on both laptops. On the left is the MacBook Air, and on the right is the Surface Laptop. Both of these have the backlight turned to maximum, and the monitors turned as low as they'll go, or off, in the MacBook Air's case. I'm sure it's pretty obvious, but you can see that the MacBook Air has a brighter backlight. You unlock both of these laptops in a different way, on the MacBook Air, it's through Touch ID, which can work in any lighting condition. The Surface Laptop uses what's called Microsoft Hello, which uses sensors and cameras across the top of the display to unlock using your face and eyes. And I've had no issues with this working in the dark. Let's take a look at displays. On the left is the Surface Laptop with a 13.8 inch diagonal. And on the right is the MacBook Air with a 13 inch diagonal screen. Here's a look at the displays side by side. Both of these are set to maximum brightness and have any sort of color shifting or night focus modes turned off. It's pretty obvious in this case that the Surface Laptop has a brighter screen. On the MacBook Air, you have a bit of a notch up at the top here. And on the Surface, obviously no notch. This is what I'll say. I've been using a MacBook Pro since 2021 that has a notch and I don't even notice it anymore. So here's a look at the webcam on each of the computers. This is the MacBook Air, and this is the Surface Laptop. And here they are switched around. I don't think either really looks particularly great. I look pretty gray on the Mac, and on the Windows laptop, I look kind of sunburnt. Maybe one of them sounds better than the other. Let me know in the comments what you think. Next up, let's talk about sound. Both of these are operating in a similar way as far as how they get sound out of the laptop, but they have different characteristics. Here's some examples from my previous video. They both sound good in their own respects. The Mac is able to get to maximum volume without distorting and has a more even tone, whereas the Surface Laptop tends to distort near maximum volume and has more of a high-end and low-end sound. Here's kind of a battery and performance test that I ran. I started the test with both of these laptops running at 100% battery. I exported around 20 minutes of 4K footage, first into an MP4 file. The Surface Laptop is able to finish faster, but the battery went from 100 down to 85%. It took a few minutes extra, but the Mac only went from 100 down to 99%. Then I switched and had them export the same footage to an MOV file, and from 85%, the Surface Laptop went down to 75 
and the Mac from 99 to 95. On the Surface Laptop, you have different performance settings. All of these tests were run using the recommended setting in power mode. So there's still more performance there, but at the sacrifice of more battery. At the end of the day, these are both great laptops and they each have their own trade-offs. I hope you found this simple comparison helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again.